every birdie. Hello. 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 Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm waving with my hands as if anybody can see that. <laughs> you can feel it. Uh, maybe I should get a 3D model just so I can wave. Yeah. It's like, it's like when you're on the phone and you're talking with your hands. Yes, yeah. exactly. I do that. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to Hotful Boyfriend Bad Boys Love Part 2. Yay! Yippee. <laughs> Last time we um we have a situation on our hands now. Uh the only human at St. Pigeonation's Hyoko was murdered and dismembered. <gasps> and now there's a mysterious dome covering the school, trapping us all inside. We and we have uh number. <laughs> yes, it's Danganronpa now. We have to uh, get all our investigation done before the class trial. So let's uh, go ahead and load up. Hell yeah. Who who would be Monokuma, do you think? Um... Shu. Yeah, Shu. Me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just me as a person. <laughs> yeah, Puff Piero. <laughs> My full right. legal first name and last name. Mm-hmm. All right. I doubt we would go to miss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this One guy will be able to help us. Well, I gotta, I gotta warm up my voice. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like oh. I didn't, even though I've been in DC all day. <laughs> <clears throat> Maintenance office. In other words, a repairman's shop? I doubt we'll find anything useful there. You just said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is that I anything to say own. about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy-blooded mongrel is no relation to me. I feel like I should have the Sakuya racist counter up, but I feel like it would ruin the mood. You're still <laughs> being racist in this situation? Right? Whoa, calm down. I guess his elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? Uh. Excuse us. What is this? <clears throat> this doesn't look very educational. The house. The handyman pretty much lives here. I lives in here, I think. I love the drawing on the wall. <laughs> oh my god. There he is. It's a the dove. Boy. And one more. Did I show you guys what he looks like already in his human form? I, I think so. You did at some point. So. I don't he's got a pompadour, yeah. right? No, he's he's like a uh, he's like a sexy grizzled Oji-san. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, Mr. One. Hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? Uh, I'm Ryota, and this is Sakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. W Whoa, somehow he seems really cool. <laughs> do you mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. Uh, no, we're not... You mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, Yuya said that we should ask you for help. Sakazaki, Yuya. Yes, him. Where's our BGM? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real quiet. Oh. His house just doesn't have any BGM, I guess. This guy doesn't <laughs> it's listen it's to got the radio soundproofing. <laughs> We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Sakuya, where the heck are your manners? 
Uh, sorry, he transferred from overseas, and his Japanese isn't too great. Yeah, sure. He certainly mm. has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Very well. Come in. What did you yeah, say you yeah, gentlemen yeah. were investigating? Two things. The murder of Tosuka Hyoko and the mysterious wall outside. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. Woo! Sorry, I almost spilled um, Dr. Pepper everywhere. That's why oh, no! I made a gnome noise. <laughs> That's why I turned into a fucking gnome. <laughs> In other words, you only know what you've heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big gray wall outside is, then? Nope. Useless wretch. Sakuya, calm down. So, I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh, wait. Mr. One, could we use your computer? Maybe we could find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Sorry, I was just making a ping in my server. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to actually fucking wink the stream. <laughs> oh. I love for Oops, One, like I have to, like, roll my shoulders back to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they'd need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase, then. A complete waste of time. Let us go, Kawara. Wait. I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Huh? Bright and massive? Capitalized. What? Wow. Bam. If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in this school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check in there. Ooh. Of course! The headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office... Then he might still be there! Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write it down. Never know what could happen in a situation like this. And you don't want to forget anything. Uh, yes, th thank you for all of the follows so far, by the way, everybody. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. One. You can come back here later. For now, we should check the lab or the wall. After those two, we can try the headmaster's office. Alright. Where do you guys uh, want to head first? Oh, uh, gee, should we save? I want the lab. Uh, I mean, we're gonna explore both of them, so... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm... I'm feeling the lab just because, like, the autopsy is happening right now. Isn't that oh, where the, yeah, the autopsy was yeah. going on? Yeah. Alright. Let's go to the lab, then. Excuse us! It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Hello, Kawara. Sir, thank you for being with Hyoko now. Of course. Sakasaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. 
must have gone past those. How unfortunate. The doctor is lining the pieces of Hyoko up on one of the lab benches. Uh, we, ha we have two uh, Puff characters in this scene. Um, I was kind of wanted... thinking also. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, go on. Uh, whichever you would prefer I take, I will take. I don't care. It's just a matter of if someone else wants to hop in for a scene. Okay. Because I was thinking, because uh, I don't know how much uh, Nageki is in this route. Um, I was thinking of maybe, uh, Sam, if you wanted to take Shu, you could. Um, maybe? I don't know. I'm just kind of, like, really off right now. Especially because the freaking, what I assume is a squirrel in the attic keeps a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So I don't really know if I feel like reading anything right now. Like, I'm paying what attention, but... I could, I could try. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawada? I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling her? It gives me an evil smile. No, that's <clears throat> not it. Just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Dr. Iwamine? Not yet, no. I only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word to you when I've finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait. Very well. We shall not interfere. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawara, one moment. A, a moment, please. Yes? Hmm. <laughs> Allow me to give you a hint. A hint? <laughs> you suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you have missed something very important. Huh? One might say that you have forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind, hmm? You're just a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. Uh. I take it it does not suit your tastes very well. He was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Well then, you can handle the outside investigation, and I, the... Internal. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Kawara. R right. Thanks, Doctor. A fucking creep. <laughs> yeah, what a weirdo. Absolutely bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not to worry about it for the time being. What were you talking with Kawara about, Doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good, then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students, Doctor. Hi. I love- I love that the Hi. anatomical models are- are of humans. A yeah, human. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just looking at them. <clears throat> we step outside once more. The gray dome remains, blocking out the morning sky. Hmm. Let's go get a closer look at it. We can't see much from over here. Indeed. Iron, maybe. It's quite firm at any rate. 
Maybe it, it is some sort of shelter. Hmm, my phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal? That seems likely. Peck. Well, pecking it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something? We should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in, after all. Right. Let's walk around the perimeter. Doesn't look like there are any doors or anything. Indeed. It appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I think an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, yeah. If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Up there. Is that some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! He's right. About 20 meters up, there's a joint or something of a different color. That does look like it might lead outside. Let's go look. Are they gonna fly up there? Yeah. <laughs> they have birds. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? What hand? By wing. By wing? Like bird logo. <laughs> by, little, by little foot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there's a switch or something somewhere? It does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let us remember its location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but... If there really is such a terrible disaster out there, uh, that this is the only option, maybe it would be better to leave it shut anyway. Indeed. Let us move on. We still don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Hyoko, but I'm worried about my family outside, too. I hope my mother's okay. I suppose we've finished the first stage of the investigation now. Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab, the gray dome covers the entire school but what for one small hatch, and we can use the maintenance office as a base. Mr. One did say... Indeed, he suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Yeah, it's on the first floor. Let's go. Headmaster, sir! Are you within? We demand entry. <laughs> Rude even to the headmaster? <laughs> I wonder if the doctor's the only person in the entire school who he actually respects. <laughs> no reply. Let's go in. Wait, Sakuya, that's... Hmm. It's locked? <sighs> Where is that old geezer? Maybe he's pretending to be out, so we'll go away? Indeed. He never was the type to walk about the campus. Or perhaps he's locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Should we wait around? We have no time for such frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. It's the headmaster's door. I don't think it'll be easy to break down. Hm. You speak the truth. Let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. Yeah, we can head back to the... Yep. Huh? What is it, Kawara? I think... I thought I heard something. I heard nothing. Perhaps you're imagining things? Yeah, uh... Like some... <laughs> Like something being dragged across the floor. Oh. Listen, there it is again, behind. Yo! Uh -oh. 
Oh. Uh, wow. This is scary. What the Whoa. fuck? What? What the fuck is that? Hello? Boba? Did they make a fucking... Oh my god, they made a fucking Here's Silent from? Hill monster. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Uh, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's they put, sticks from they, the legends. They fucking put Hyoko's soul in a in a <laughs> construct. Uh. Suddenly behind us stood a gigantic scarecrow like creature with a rough burlap burlap sack for a head. Something. What? Um, <laughs> Someone's egg cracked. Don't worry, guys. There's a Have natural cried, disaster but... and a murder, but we've created, we've managed to create the creature. The yeah. creature. We made the creature. The creature will save us. <laughs> what? What's in? The scarecrow man draws closer, dragging its long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Sakuya, watch out! Its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards, which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Sakuya, we have to run! I'm well aware! <laughs> this is maybe my favorite oh, track. Wing fluttering sounds! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Did we... Lose it? I think so. Lucky it moves so slowly. What was it? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I don't think it was a human. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So. Jury's not out. I never... <laughs> could be partially a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder, the dome, and now this. I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. I like how Sakya thinks this is all a prank on him. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Saki is the main character. Yeah, he's the center <laughs> of the universe. Oh, welcome back, Kawara Shiragane. Would you like some tea? Uh, is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Mm, so I take it something happened? Uh, the headmaster. He must have been hiding from the scarecrow. It smashed the window! Calm yourself, Kawara. You become incoherent! S sorry We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow? Wait, yeah. scarecrows scare birds. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Are there any crows in this game? Uh, there's one in the second game. Oh, neat. Because I was going to say, they were talking about how the um the virus, like, worked quicker on, on doves and pigeons, which is why they're the majority mm -hmm. of intelligent birds. Mm hmm Is that why there's the other party's called the hawk party? Uh, I'm not sure what the symbolism of the hawk is, but... I mean, other than it, it fucking kills and eats smaller birds. Yeah, a predator. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell everybody to stay together in the gym. Y yeah. 
The plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection is to all of this. Nuki? Oh, a Scarecrow Man, you say? D doctor Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. Oh shit. I was aware I was awake the whole time, don't worry. Thank you, Mr. Nanaki. Hmm, you two may well have a right to know what I found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I've learned from the lumps of meat which were once Miss Tosaka. Wow. Yes. 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 Wow. <laughs> Control yourself, Kawara. Falling out amongst ourselves would only do us harm. Uh, so I know. saying among us. I know! <laughs> Oh, anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. Mm. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor? It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up sometime after death. Yoko was one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become that sick that quickly. Meaning, someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other reason. Disgusting, either way. Suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but... I believe that Miss Tosaka died yesterday, after school. In the evening, then? Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? House is generous. Yeah. <laughs> After school? Um... Hmm. N no I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right. I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now. But maybe if I just ask her to walk home with me. I see. Perhaps you should ask any other students with whom she was close. You're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry. We can outrun the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went- I went home early yesterday, too. And, uh... I left as soon as class ended. So I only know where Yuta has told me. I wish I had more, some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. So neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine saw Hiyoko yesterday afternoon. Oh, right. Could we ask a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key... Mm, yes, there should be one in the faculty room. 
Ask the vice principal for it. Or oh, I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. I like how they're just letting the kids run around the school and right. all this crazy stuff. Pawar is a strange boy. Wonder why he lied about going straight home. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Now they do. They do keep harping on about like are you forgetting something? You're forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Come back and look uh -oh. at the notes in case you for you don't want to forget anything. I feel oh, I feel <laughs> like maybe Ryota's in like a weird like parallel like he 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 Berenstein bears it or something. Yeah. <laughs> so he's remembering like a different day or something. Ah. Huh. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. Right. We should ask everybody where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakuya. He's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the LaBelle family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamine. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he has made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of mad scientist, picking up nothing but death and all around woe. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the LaBelle family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Anyway, let's go. Very well. Go to... Do we want to go to the gym or the maintenance office? I... The maintenance office. I was gonna say I want to go to the maintenance office. I want to see if a we. I mean a we should write down what we know, just mm -hmm. in case fucking Ryota explodes or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and B like I want to know if there's some weird time loop shenanigans or something. Like we're at one point we're gonna go to the maintenance office and there's gonna be stuff written down we don't remember writing. Or some <laughs> bullshit. I don't know. Well, I just also said like exploding and i just imagine just like a little pop and just feathers <laughs> i'm in i'm yeah, in zero like escape brains so. he yeah. inflates really big and becomes a ball and then he just explodes into feathers yeah he no. becomes a, a, a ball. oh like in shrek yeah i was yeah, gonna say like, like in yeah. shrek <laughs> right, uh let's so... go maintenance i think maintenance okay. is good we've been saying that one right <laughs> yeah mr one you two again. Come in. Now goes the investigation. Well, I hope. There you go. I had to burp nasty style. Aww. <laughs> nice. Uh, we went to the headmaster's office, as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... Was that thing oh. a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya! So, oh, you've God. seen it too. Just now, yeah. On the second floor. I caught a glimpse of it from behind at the other end of the corridor, and didn't stick around to let it see me, so alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Howard. 
Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it, too. Pussy. Anyway, <laughs> it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One. Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two, either. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Party stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Elevator again, repair. Lawnmower. <laughs> knowing this school, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Well then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given to everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Erp. <laughs> Erp. <laughs> He's ERPing. ERP. He's ERPing. Oh, ERP. Same brain. Why aren't you headed over there? I'm ERPing on Final Fantasy and I have to go to the to the computer room. <laughs> it's time to go to Limsa Lominsa. I have to work my shift at the Rose Cafe. <laughs> the Midnight Rose, as it is. Check our card. <laughs> We're on Sargatatus. Sit around. I'm on to check, check the staff list. My name is Ulemong Dulefer, an Elizin <laughs> of Duskoit. <laughs> okay, I'm done. God. <laughs> Indeed. Same here. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Is Yuya the vice principal? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Yomine. Most likely, yes. The Doctor and Hyoko, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Yeah, sorry, I, I just faded out. I faded back in for this. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because this is very important. According to the autopsy, Tosca died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawara. Uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow, anyway. That's everything? Well, adieu. We should head out, too. But first, let's write down what we found. Alright, let's go. Okay, I don't trust Yuya now. Because he's like, yeah. oh, what What was the doctor's alibi? Yeah, I can confirm that. Like, <laughs> the dude was clearly fishing for what to say so he could say, oh, yeah, I was there also. Yeah, I bet, but we know he, I bet. he wouldn't be in cahoots with the doctor because they're enemies. Right, that's the, that's the weird thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a wild call here. Mm-hmm. My, yeah. I'm, I'm going to bet early. I'm going to put it all on everybody did it except for Sakuya <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be really funny. So I'm putting all my money on it. Okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Ugh. The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up with no explanation and now there's a suspicious individual wandering the campus? I guess even doves lose their cool eventually. Sun, 
Son, where are you? <gasps> Uncle Son is right here, alive and well, so far. Where did you and Sakuya go? Leaving Uncle Son behind and going outside is not fair. You just confused the issue if we brought you along. We came back because we had a question for you. Come at me, whippersnapper. Uh, that's not what I... You usually practice on the ground after school, right? Of course. It is Oko-san's duty as track captain. Did you see Hioko while you were out there yesterday? No. Oko-san did not see her then or as he was going home. Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her, that he would have noticed her, even if she had been there while he was running? Good point. Do not look down on Okosan's visual memory. If you had asked Okosan about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have something to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> huh? Wait, wait, son. What did you just? Do not look down on Okosan's visual memory. Uh, after that. Oh wait, that's Sakia. Yeah. <laughs> after that, imbecile. If you had asked Okosan about the bloodstained interloper he saw, then he would have something to say. Okosan saw the interloper going to the infirmary. The infirmary? Could that have been Hyoko? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she'd still be walking around at that point. It was not Hiyoko. It was a bird unknown to Oko-san. Someone covered in blood was going to the infirmary after school. Unghel. He's got the he's got Ung the Hell. blood. Oh, he's oh. got the blood red Ooh. chest. He's the bleeding heart dove. You're mm -hmm. so smart. Mm -hmm. Whoever he is, he's our prime suspect now. Thanks for telling us, son. We're a couple of little detectives here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> At least we found something. Even if it raises more questions than it answers. Yeah. Some bird Hussan doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? It's past noon already. Let's hurry onwards. And so we walked about the school, searching for clues of Hyoko and the mysterious bloodstained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the Scarecrow, but we didn't find any information either. Oh, where to now? Hmm. Nanaki has probably gotten the key for us by now. Let us return to the lab. Okay. Uh-huh. What is it? Did you say something just now? I... did not. Could it be that confounded Scarecrow again? No, it's not him. I thought I heard somebody say something. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Though, we've been walking around half the day. It's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks on you. This is... The library. What if there's somebody in here? They might not have heard the alarm. Let's check. The ghost. Very well. Far removed from the emergency throughout the rest of the school, the library is the same as always. Empty. It is a little gloomier than usual. The guy wasn't in there. I guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together, Kawara. I have no use for subordinates who lose hold of their sanity. Since when am I your subordinate? Sorry, Sakuya. Let's get back let's head back to the lab. Something. Something bad happened. 
I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? Huh. I can't hear. What are you saying? You're fading away. It's too far. Miss Tosaka! What? Mr. Nanaki! Welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? I think that was like him talking to Yoko's ghost, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ad break has begun. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Break time. Oh, stretch, stretch, and get some water. Ugh. I should get water. God, I keep getting jump scared by the fucking squirrel. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah. no I'm dreading. No, I have no, to no. like call someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I... Home calls. <laughs> yeah i am loving this so far it's so good, yeah, it's good. Yeah. i definitely think there's like right if hyoko's like spirit is fading away from nageki's perspective nageki's still around because he has like unfinished murder business or something he has something right because he fades away when hyoko like becomes his friend and that's like a whole thing it's because he's like so lonely mm -hmm. but if she's fading away it doesn't make sense that she wouldn't have unfinished business because like if you get murdered that bad it feels yeah. like you kind of have to yeah. yeah so i'm i'm still on the thing where like they put her soul in the robot <laughs> like I'm I'm like I'm like her spirit is trapped somewhere in some sort of uh, cruel device. Um, <laughs> that could be. That does sound like a possible thing. Plausible. Plausible. <laughs> I think it's very possible. And then I put up plausible. my uh pause that I definitely have. Obviously mm -hmm. it's it's it would be very talentable. Yeah, I was gonna say clawsable. That, that that's be better and funnier. <laughs> Unbeakable. <God>. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go bury my head in a pillow and scream. That was that was so good. <laughs> Not bury your head in some sand like an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. It is hot in here. Omelet. It's gonna get hot in here. So no, because it makes too much noise post. since it's right next to my computer. Oh, Maybe I'll right. take my socks off. So All right, everybody. All right, take my stream. socks off. I'm taking my socks off. Oh, oh yeah. put <laughs> those swear. rippers away! Whoa! And Ripper our ad break is over. Oh yeah. All right. Let us resume. Yet another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you gotten the key? Yes, I have. Right here. Thank you, sir. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? The doctor and I will be here. Be careful. Adieu. I don't like it when- I don't like it when they hang out together. Yeah. I, oh, that's the other thing, is I'm thinking <laughs> that, like, Ryota maybe went to the infirmary because he was sick or something, and something happened where he didn't remember that, like, he killed Hyoko. Mm. And so that's why, like, Shu knows he's lying. And she's also why Yuya was like, oh, yeah, I definitely was with Shu the whole time, but didn't confront <laughs> Ryota. Mm -hmm. She was. Play last. Just... Asphyxiated with no sign of struggle, so that implies that also it's somebody that knew her was probably what gave her something either poisoned 
or um, yeah, somebody did... that she trusted strangled her while she was asleep, mm -hmm. perhaps. I did briefly look up the symptoms of a H5N1 just, just to be safe, and <laughs> trouble breathing is on there, so... Uh-oh! <clears throat> Clear right. Good. Doesn't look like the Scarecrow is here. Oh, shoot, sorry. Uh, that's good. If I had to fly away from something like that, I might panic and hit the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Quail's reflex when startled is to fly straight up. It is, and it's very cute. Aw. Aw. We should hear it dragging its arm when it moves, so we'll have plenty of time to get away. Let's go in. Right, right, let's see. Let me pull out my comically large ring of keys. <laughs> <laughs> the, the headmaster, who gathered us all in the gym without any real explanation. How many of our questions will he be able to answer? Excuse us. That fucking oh God, what pug. Is that dopey dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe he's not here? Hmm. That or hiding. There's some birdie at the desk. He's sitting with Hello. his back to us, but his feathers are the unmistakable green of a nickel bar. Oh, what if he's murdered? Oh no. Speak to us, headmaster. Have you gone deaf? Sakuya, be polite. Japan is the country of courtesy, after all. Is it his fault or mine that we had to come here? Headmaster, will you- oh. This- Sakuya? Ha! Huh. The thing here... ...is no longer the headmaster. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. You fucking died! His half-closed <laughs> half eyes are dull and cloudy. The skin showing beneath his feathers is pallid. What? What madness! Hit him too? Oh, second class head! Let's go! That was quick. I should say it. Oh god, and because yeah. the announcement the announcement in the gym could have been pre-recorded, we can't even say that it wasn't it wasn't present company. Mm, yeah. Is that still me? Uh Oh, Puff, how you feeling? Hmm? I can take him back if you want. I don't mind. It's up to you. I'm, I I don't mind reading two characters. <laughs> okay. I'm silly. You, but I don't I also wanna... don't want to like sp take too much. Yeah, I was going to say else. do you want to keep voicing him milky or do you want to give it back to Puff? It's up to you. I can keep going uh so right. Puff doesn't have to voice two characters. Yeah, whatever. Since uh, Okasan has not really been front and center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcasted this morning, though. Yeah. Knew it. I checked his broadcasting equipment and it looks like they put the video together from last year's disaster drill, drill footage. Mm. Meaning somebody killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone... We should probably check on the gym. Yeah, yeah, there's no explanation. True. There's no explanation, but mere obscene delight in the grotesque. I think we may all be vastly underestimating the magnitude of whatever's going on. It might be better if we kept this to ourselves for now. I concur. Until we have a proper grasp of the situation, Telling the others would only cause unnecessary panic. First Hyoko, and now the headmaster. Both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? 
More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him and fabricating the broadcast. This must be connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let us do search for some clues, Kawara. Right. Investigation start. <laughs> <clears throat> Easier said than done. Every shelf in his office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent feral. Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans of the school. Got it. <clears throat> PTA records. That's not it. Demographics for dummies. Nope. Transfer students. Wait, next to that is... The human representative? That must mean Hiyoko. And the date is from two years ago, right before she enrolled. It's not really related to today's incidents, but it might have something useful. Oh, lore. Lore time. It doesn't appear to be anything about converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large scale would have to leave some sort of paperwork, paper trail word official. Hang on, Sakuya. What are you reading, Kawara? This. The human representative. It's locked, even though none of the others are. A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student or the like. There's no need to have it sealed up like a criminal record. I wonder what's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open f it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere. Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help? You intend to break it open? Yeah, it'll be faster than looking around for the key. And... That? I was wondering about it as well. That thing on his desk. Some sort of control panel? Whatever it is, it's suspicious. I believe it is a control panel for some machine, yes. Word out next to it is... The dome. Maybe this controls the dome, or the hatch we saw earlier. One did postulate that it would be in here. In other words, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Locked, of course. I doubt we will find it easy to break that one. Yeah. All the same, we have some actual hope getting out of here now. Even just that is comforting. Let's go talk to Mr. One. I think we have exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let us go! Mr. Kawara. Y yes, sir? Oh, I see you have yet to lose your open distrust of me. Well, two people have been poisoned. And we have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not too hard for Sakuya, though. How honest of you. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot about. The thing I forgot about? He must be talking about what he said earlier. No. I'm not convinced you're not just trying to mess with me. Are you, sh are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought nobody knew about? How cruel, Mr. Kawara. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. He doesn't look wounded at all. More like <laughs> a youth. I have... Ugh, my dogs are barking. Oh. <laughs> I have no reason to regret your solving this mystery, Mr. Kawara. Let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If 
you want to find the truth, you need only keep going. You need not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles? Wait, not that. You mean to say that you know the truth already? Well... Who knows? If you do, tell me! I told you, you need only keep going. Everything here is a plot that was laid out just for you, after all. Oh? Just for me? What? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How long must you babble, Kawara? Come! Sorry. I take this as a challenge, Doctor. Sorry, uh... Hold on. <laughs> you go. Also, me. no riddles? I love riddles. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you may take it that way if you so wish. I swear, I will find the truth. And if I find that you killed Hiyoko... Oh. oh, I do look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. You see, I only killed her in that other timeline. <laughs> Mr. One? You two again. What is it? We explained to Mr. One what we found in the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. We think this file may be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it? Or break it. Let me see. This will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it will result in spontaneous combustion. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would they put something like that on a bunch of ordinary documents? This is like when Light hid the Death Note. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why, indeed. Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary. Perhaps when you write someone's name and a cause of death, they will <laughs> they will die. And then your, your soul gets taken by a Shinigami. <laughs> but only if you know their true face and also only if you know their true name? Unless yeah, you've traded for the Shinigami eyes, in which case you can know their name <laughs> and see them in green or red. <laughs> I've dealt with similar things in the past. You see, I just finished watching Death Note. Uh, Light Yagami is, is my bay. <laughs> uh, boy. It will take time, but I believe I can open it. So defusing bombs falls under maintenance operations? Do not yep. forget, I'm not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance Sorry. worker. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what does that mean? That, does if that as mean? an acronym it's BAM, uh, nice. does that mean anything? Or BM. Or BM. <laughs> No, not, th I, not to I, me, I, at I, least. I, I, I took a large BM this morning. <laughs> no! <laughs> I took a bright and massive shit. <laughs> so, maintenance work in Japan requires a number of skills. I'm impressed. Uh, I think Mr. One is the only... Oh, right! Can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel that looks like it's for the dome as well. But it's locked. It seems to require a password. Password? Uh. Ask Mr. Sakazaki for help. Yuya? He is a master of unauthorized access. Go to this place. And then go to He's... this place. He's and the master of unlocking. <laughs> Got lines that so make that you sound snake. 
<laughs> so that wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime. I never knew he could. Sakia, just let it go. We need his help here. I shall take care of this folder then. I can't say for sure, but... It should be done by the time you and Mr. Sakazaki get back. Alright, thanks. We should probably write all this down, since we're here. I wonder if that's the game telling you to save. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm... Hmm. Ryoga, I remember be... to save Can your I... game! Can I be let back into the backstage thing again? I... Oh, I accidentally yep. left it. That's all good. Uh, I have to call. Yippee! There you go. Where's hmm. Yuya right now? Turtle. Wait, am I on the stream together thing? <gasps> I closed it as well. Oh no! Yes, Let everybody back in. <laughs> okay, good. I'm Let sorry. me in. Huh? Don't want to be in. This is getting ready. Oh, there it goes. I had to mute and unmute my microphone, and then it let me in. There you like go. the button was find... grayed out. I need to find Yuya. He's the master of unlocking. <laughs> I I sh should I have given One my snake voice? <laughs> A bird, huh? <laughs> yes, please. Because right now I'm, the I'm... Lab. Oh, go ahead. Oh. No, you. I was just gonna say, right now I'm doing my um, uh, Sojiro from Persona 5 voice for him. Uh. <laughs> Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. This would be a lot easier if we could use our phones. But we can't. Off to the lab. Need to invest in some walkie talk. Right? Here we are. In the Wait, exact same hallway. Cause, cause, cause they're birds, would they be called Flappy Yappies? Flappy Yappies. <laughs> I wonder if he's still in there. Pat and that walkie-talkie for bird. You can make millions in the Macaw market. Oh god. We're gonna have <laughs> another corpse. Oh no, okay. It's oh, just yeah. this guy. Scarecrow man blocks our path. Fish. Wah. 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 Sakuya, run. This thing has a very cartoon arm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Don't order me around, feral. I'm going to run because I thought of that idea, not because you told me. <sighs> we lost it. Right? Oh. Shoot. Sakuya and I must have run in different directions. I hope he's okay. Of all the times to run into that thing again. If it's lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of its arm to find it. And the dome makes the building dark, so it's hard to see. I'd better be careful. Where is it now? I want to head straight to the lab, but... Huh? Did I just hear something? <gasps> there he is! Ghosty boy. Consistent. What are you doing in here all alone? Did you see the wall outside? There's been an emergency, and everybody's supposed to gather in the gym. You should... Your... Uh, Kawara Ryota? Uh, he knows my name? Have I met him somewhere before? Yeah, uh, have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Then why do you know my name? She told me. Miss Tosaka. Hiyoko? Oh, right. Didn't she say she made friends with a freshman who's in the library all the time? Can I ask your name? 
Fujishiro Nogeki. You were friends with Hyoko then? Um, did you maybe see her after school yesterday? Was she acting strange at all, or... Oh. Shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast. So he probably doesn't know what happened to her, either. Um, she's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. Huh? Again? I, I already know. What? Hmm? She washed up here and spoke to me. Which can only one, mean one thing. She's dead. He doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his, uh, inter... Hmm. New vocab, what is that? Interlocutor. 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 <laughs> I, I, I mean, I can get from context what it means, but who knows what he means. She washed up here. Did you mean yesterday? If you know anything about what happened to her last night, please tell me. I do not. Miss Tosaka did not come to the library after school yesterday. Hmm. She didn't come here either. Thanks. I need to hurry back to the chemistry lab, and you should probably get out of here, too. There's a suspicious individual in the building. It was not yesterday that Miss Tosaka came here. It was... just now. What? He's gone. The morning dove who just spoke to me has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Saku is right. Maybe I am going crazy. I have to last long enough to find the killer. Did he just walk out of here while I blinked or something? I, I, weird, <laughs> huh? Anyway, bye. <laughs> Where did I go? <laughs> You're late, Kawara. Blasted feral doves. Sakuya, you're safe. He was pretty worried about you, Ryota. He couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Silence, mongrel. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry for worrying you, Sakuya. Anyway, Sakuya filled me in on your adventures. You want me to hack into the Headmaster's computer? Can you do it? Naturally. I am the master of unlocking, after all. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Master of unlocking also sounds like a Resident Evil 1 thing. Yeah, I think it is from <laughs> Resident Evil. Oh, oh yeah! Door. Yeah. You take this bobby pin. Sorry. You're the master of unlocking. <laughs> Sir, about this control panel. What about it? Can't you tell? It must be the controls for that dome. Oops, sorry. Mm, right, I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We were gonna have Yuya get into it for us, but... That's illegal, you know. This is illegal, you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? I never said you shouldn't do it. We don't have much toys, do we? Go on. Thank you, sir. Yoko's okay, been cool, murdered. You can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> well, having Mr. Nanaki's approval certainly helps my conscience. Let's see. He wakes up the computer, and before long I have no idea what he's doing to it. He just types password. Wow. <laughs> I wonder where he learned to do that. 
imagine he spends his spare time stealing illegal X-rated videos off the intertubes. <laughs> oh my god. This is, that's the quintessential no Sakuya line. <laughs> it really is. Like, I looked away for a second, and until, like, it so, until it said inner tubes, I thought someone was just, like, riffing. Like, just saying <laughs> something. Saying some shit. No, no, that's the game. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even no say, like... Works. I love that it's not even downloading <laughs> uh, X-rated videos. It's stealing. He thinks that watching <laughs> porn is theft. That's funny. It is a lot of the time. That's true. true. Sucker is very passionate about copyright law, it seems. <laughs> X-rated videos can teach someone how to do this sort of thing? <laughs> yeah, I should watch more of them. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. I learned how to hack from watching porn. <laughs> there we go. Now then. There. We're logged in as the administrator now. Woohoo! Woohoo! They, Woo they yeah! never changed the default password. It was just <laughs> admin and password the whole time. I'm not exactly holding on to my butt here. <laughs> this only has an open and close button. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Well, I'll leave the rest of this to you two. If we press, press this button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open. But with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If there really is some terrible disaster, then opening the dome could put everybody in danger. I wonder if mom's at home. I hope she's okay. There's a dangerous individual wandering the premises, and the bird in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get Yuya to help and everything. <laughs> we should. Choice? Save. We, we should save. save. Good idea. Oh. Open the dome. <coughs> open I want to open that dome. I want to open that dome. I want to open that dome. Alright. Dome time! Let's open it. <laughs> we need to get everyone out of here. Agreed, and we can confirm once and for all that the talk of a disaster was nonsense. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome. No matter. All we need to do is get a look outside. Just having the hatch open is better, anyway, in case there really is a storm or something out there. The escape hatch will close automatically in 15 minutes. To reopen it, please reboot and try again. It closes on its own? That seems like a risky design. 15 minutes isn't enough to get everyone out. Let's go and take a look before it closes. We're going outside again, Mr. Nanaki. If it's safe, we'll organize an evacuation at the gym. Oh shit, sorry, I accidentally minimized. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll come too. Uh, Zakazaki, doctor, what will you two do? Hmm, well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Hyoko alone with another man would hardly be gentlemanly, so I'll go with the doctor. I don't I'm think they should like be that. together. <laughs> well then, let's go, Kawara Shiragane. Don't Very worry. well. Shu won't be able to yep. do anything to Hyoko because we'll be kissing. <laughs> Shu and I will be kissing hard style. Hard style. <laughs> Where was the hatch? Have you eyes or pickled onions? Right there. <laughs> the hatch, high above the ground, is open. Looks like the control panel worked. 
Hmm. I think everybody should be able to fly up to that. We'll say it looks a like little a little narrow. Enough, <laughs> big enough hole for birds to fly through. So we'll have to go through two or three at a time. But outside. Yeah. It's perfectly clear. We can only see the sky, but there's no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm autumn sky from this morning. No earthquake and no typhoon. And the announcement video is a fake. I think it's safest to assume that the whole thing was a lie. I'm curious about the state of things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we'd best think carefully before going out. We can't see the city at all. We don't really know what's going out there, going out there, if anything. But if there really is no disaster, and this is all some plot surrounding Tosaka's death, then we need more clues. I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantee that it's safe out there. It isn't safe here, either. Look, Look. the hatch is open. It is! It is! <laughs> we could go, 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 go home! We're gonna go home! The two of us, both student bees! <laughs> <laughs> student B is what they call students who sound like this. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be in a gym. You shouldn't go out yet. Like heck are we sticking around with nothing but that bogus explanation from earlier? I can't wait any longer. I'm, I'm going, going out. out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out, both of us. <laughs> We're going together, st us, student B. It's short for student body. <laughs> that's, that's why there's a few of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that's me. Wait, come back. Come back at once. We don't know if it's safe out there yet. It just instantly turned to fucking dust. Just. Pfft. Oh, oh I'm turning to dust. Oh, no. The student body. No. I think someone got shot. Yeah, yeah that I sounded mean, like I'm a. I'm not sure if you heard the sound shot. effect. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the the tiny pew. A gunshot? It was a gun! We have to go help him! Calm down, Kawara. You'll only get yourself shot as well. But... Damn. Oh, I'm bleeding! Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> as if to laugh ah. at the shot, the hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot him. It's not a natural disaster. If we go out, we could get killed. But mm. why? Are there people out there? Mm -hmm. It's punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the humans are trying to take back over. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm thinking. Cause like I can't that. see a bird using a gun. Yeah. But like, they can but barely why would use they kill phones. Me? But why was he- why is Hyoko dead? <laughs> the mystery! Yeah, it's weird, I it's guess- It's consuming me! Maybe <laughs> they- if, so if it is a conspiracy by a bunch of surviving humans to kill all the birds that could be carriers of H5N1 by trapping them in here, they could view Hyoko as compromised. Um, mm. because of her affiliation as a human representative in the school. <clears throat> but why the dismemberment? Yeah, why that's the, dis that's the yeah, thing. Why the dismemberment? For fun. And the association. For fun and profit. Um, mm -hmm. And profit, yes. <laughs> Hyoko's corpse, delivered without warning throughout the school. The students, gathered without explanation in the gym. The headmaster, appearing on screen to announce an emergency situation, and then turning up dead. A gray dome enclosing the school. The scarecrow, appearing for no apparent reason in the sealed-off building. And now, the students, shot dead if they try to escape. I mean, unless Hiyoko is the inside agent. Like, what if Hiyoko poisons the headmaster, poisons herself, and then somehow the scarecrow chops her up? Who 
is the scarecrow. Like, <laughs> that's all I'm wondering. <laughs> We're actually What's in Gotham, and this is just a fear gas experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, one last thing. N Nageki did say she's here while the scarecrow was outside. That's true. Like she was just here. So haunted. That's, that's haunted just here's how haunted scarecrow about. theory can still win. Um, here's how haunted <laughs> scarecrow theory can still win. <laughs> how humiliating! It would seem that things are worse than we ever expected. Someone got shot, and he's like, "This is humiliating." <laughs> if only I'd stopped him. There's nothing we could do that the, uh, do that we didn't, Kawara. The last thing you need to do now is to stop start mourning what we've lost. I can't read today. I'm sorry. I'm still <laughs> don't, I'm still alive. You can still save me. <laughs> Please. Silence, mackerel. You don't intend to give up now, do you? No, I'm fine. We have to keep going. I think we should be quiet about this to everyone in the gym. Uh, we can explain it to them after we've figured out what to do. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Our chance- our one chance at escape turns out to be a one-way ticket across the sticks. There's no- nothing we can do but search for clues inside the school. Where shall we go next? Let's go back to the maintenance office. Mr. One might have that file open. Very well. We return to the maintenance office and explain what what outside <laughs> to Mr. One. <laughs> oh, I see. It seems that our worst predictions have come to bear their evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? Uh, we can predict things without knowing that they will happen. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Confusing predictions with reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Um, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? Hmm. An innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time I introduced myself properly. Hmm? Whoa! Oh, dude! Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. I am Leon J.B. One of the Hell great yeah. soaring wings of the Duff Party, S-Class Agent. Pleased to meet you. I'm striking JoJo poses, but you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> the Duff Party? It looks like a cockatiel to me. I've heard of this Dove Party. The secret organization that advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Hmm. Here's the noble's duty to be well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. There are two schools of thought driving the politics of today. The Dove Party, who believes we should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believes we should exterminate them. Exterminate? But I thought the wars with humans were over. Do you really believe that everyone just decided to live happily together? Sadly, that is not how the world works. There are still many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the hawks and the doves have come to the fort. Do you not understand our bipartisan... Political system? This is important if you're going to be, like, a voting member of society. <laughs> we discovered hawk activity at this school, and so I was dispatched to investigate. 
And what we feared would happen has happened. No. Well, well, wait a minute. Are you saying the Hawk Party has something to do with St. Pigeonations? It seems h hard to believe. The school's known for its tolerant policies towards humans. Oh, it even welcomed Tosaka as a representative. I cannot confirm or deny it. But there are a growing number of Hawk operatives attached to the school. The Headmaster's secret file will probably answer some of your questions. Ooh. Oh, you got it open. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Oh, never mind. I thought my headset died, but um, the music just stopped. That should speed yeah. things up a little. Let's look inside. The human representative. To help humans and birds advance hand and feather toward a bright and happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. Okay, this is much further be... in the future than I thought. <laughs> yeah. It will be the human representative. The pandemic has long since ended, but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection of Sumatera influenza when making our selection. We'll pick a strong, healthy 15-year-old human who displays hereditary resistance to Sumatera influenza. A human representative? This is talking about Tosaka, no matter how we look at it. 2187. That's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's le read the rest. The chosen individual will be a symbol of human concession, to wit, a hostage for birds. If the representative is to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off, and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. Oh. What? The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The oh. school will be declared in an extraterritorial zone, and avian protests of any human reprisal will, be, will not be tolerated. Yoko is to die? So her death was connected to the dome after all. And... The important part is this final gruesome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Hiyoko, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it would seem. They trap us in here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, but what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. Oh, we're getting so it, many sucky racist moments today. Yeah, right? So, this was the true face of her enrollment here. I rather think that this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed. Things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's principal financier, the Ichijo Group, has been heavily involved in human charities for the past 20 years. I have investigated the history of St. Pigeonations extensively and I can confirm that it was founded with the ideal of coexistence with humans. But the Hawk Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system. Like a dreadful virus. We've had information about this document for some time. It is real. Kind of hard to take all this in at once. Just to make sure, for 12 hours, the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge. And then... When the dome opens, they will kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. Hmm. That student who got shot when he flew out the hatch. There are, are already humans waiting out there with guns. 
He was discovered this morning, and the dome was raised soon after. So the time is not from when she died, but when from when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago? Yeah, it was right at the start of the second period. Around 10 o'clock. And so we have until 10 p.m. before we're all killed. You seem awfully calm, Sakuya. Even after watching somebody get shot. Remain calm, Kawara. Do nothing but worry about what's gone wrong, and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rue the day they decided to tangle with a labelle. What time is it, Mr. Leone? <laughs> Just ignoring him. <laughs> Just past two. We have only eight hours, then. Eight hours? We have to find an escape route in eight hours, or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyway. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue the investigation. You're very decisive, Sakuya. I'm glad you're here. Do not attempt to flatter me, Kawara. I'm not. I mean it. Okay. So, I think Kyoko was either killed by a member of the Hawk Party to manufacture consent, or by a, either in, like, a weird thing with the humans where they want to manufacture consent for war with birds... Or the- I mean, it could be the Dove Party, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just- just- just to... Go like, look, see? This is why you need to donate to our fundraisers so that we can stop <laughs> human-on-bird violence. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. This is some good writing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm enjoying it. We found the connection between Hiyoka's death and the dome. There's clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. We'd better go now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You're a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. Also, here's my codec number. <laughs> <laughs> don't miss the forest for the trees. Sakuya, there's one more file. Um, Operation Hotterful? <gasps> That's the name what? of the game. What? <laughs> what is that? Right? Uh, I don't know. That's what it says on here. The bottom half is torn off. We can't read it, at any rate. I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyway. That's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Saki, a racist counter. Sakia. Look, it's spelt hurtful. Whoa, whoa, it is. I thought hotful just meant heartful. Oh, now it says hurtful boyfriend on the bottom. Yeah, it said, I, that, the whole it said oh. that for when we switched to since, Ryota, it switched uh, over to her yeah, boyfriend. Since I never noticed that. Okay. <laughs> I suspect that we will find many of the things to come quite hurtful. R right. It was probably something important, given that it was in the locked file. Indeed. I hadn't heard of this hurtful thing before, but. You might want to look into the school's history. Ooh. You might want to see history? what the, sc the school was doing during the Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. There's never anything good with that, is there? <laughs> At any rate, the headmaster must have known what would happen after Tosaka died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him alone to escape. Which means that maybe he had a guarantee of safety for himself? 
I don't want to suspect an elder, but it does look that way. Everything going on here is connected. We may well find something of, el of use in the records. Right. Let's go look at the school documents, then. Back to the office. I'm <laughs> not the only dove agent in this school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Time to Wait. look for more clues. And bird speed. Don't we know of <laughs> three dove member uh, parties, including that guy? That means one's say, lying. Uh, Yuya, uh, Yuya and One, One, we know are confirmed. I think, um, what, what was his name? Kazuaki? Nanaki? Yeah, Nanaki. I think it was implied, but I think I think he might he might be rogue. I think maybe he was a former oh. dove agent, but then he okay. had his whole tragic backstory, and maybe he's doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. That's true. Maybe we should write in the notes first. Sure thing, Ryota. Uh, do we want to take a a quick break? Because I gotta go pee pee. <laughs> sure. Yeah, me too. I don't know how much longer <laughs> we right. wanted to go, but yeah, I don't know. What are you guys feeling? I'm fine with whatever. Because I'm, I'm down to keep going for a bit. I just... Yeah, you're right. I can keep going. I'm just, I'm just like super nauseous for some reason, but I can still go. Okay. Um. Okay, well, I go back. Quick BRB, because I have to yeah. pee too. Alright, pee time. I'm hungry. I'm going to get all me back. Hi, everybody. We're back. Oop. Hang Hello. on. There we go. Double. Wait, why, did, why, did everybody, why did everybody go so far down? Hang on. I just had all everybody pop in <laughs> when I switched yeah. back to the scene. Alright. Puff might be a little while, so we're uh we're gonna we're gonna read a little bit and uh I assume he's watching from his, his phone or something, so <clears throat> I can uh Alright. <clears throat> Mr. Leone said to investigate the school's history, but how? Where do we look? Who wants to take Sakia while uh, while Puff's uh, indisposed? Uh, um, I guess I will. Go ahead and okay. say something. Okay, sure. <laughs> the headmaster's office, or the library, perhaps. We already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. And the mystery we have left to solve is... The bloodstained stranger Oko saw going into the infirmary yesterday. Exactly. But with the headmaster dying, an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us all into jerk chicken, and it all... I almost forgot about it. And the Scarecrow. We still don't know where he came from. He appeared along with the dome and is no doubt connected to it. If we continue to investigate it, I'm sure his origins will become clear. And Tosaka's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we should forget about the puppet and chase after the blood-stained bird. Right. That's decided then. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history, and we'll look for that bird. It probably doesn't matter, but which should we do first? Alright. What do we want to do first? I want to look Again, for the bird. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, look for the bird. A, yeah, a situation where we will do both, so... Bring, for the bird. bring Ung, Unghel in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> the bloodstained bird. Hmm. Do you have an idea? I I feel like I should... It's not something I'd encounter normally, but for some reason. Don't I know some birdie like that? Vague, as always. We do have a time limit here. We must not fall behind. I know, I know. Uh, if I remember what it is, I'll say right away. Maybe Yuya was still there in there? Let's go ask him again. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, 
He said that he saw nothing out of the ordinary. If what said is true, then he was lying. Which would mean that the doctor was lying too. Hmm. Very well. Yuya! Salutations. How goes the investigation? Well, just who do you think I am? Yeah, yeah. Unlike me, you're a very capable bird. Yuya, we wanted to ask you something. Oh? I'll answer anything that doesn't violate my privacy, so ask away. Did you really not see anything yesterday after school? I'm not sure what you mean. I thought the doctor and I already verified each other's innocence. We were in the infirmary the entire time. We talked to San earlier. He said that he saw a bloodstained stranger going to the infirmary yesterday. Did you see anything like that? Um... Nope. Sorry. Could you be the bloodstained bird yourself? Yikes. No, as you can see, I'm not hurt anywhere at all. Besides, he said this saw he saw this bird going to the infirmary, not going into the infirmary, right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, I didn't see anything. There's not much more I can say. Right, Doctor? Yes, that's right. No one came yesterday. I don't think we'll find anything more here, <clears throat> Sakuya. Let's move on. Indeed. Did those two really not see anything yesterday? If there'd actually been some bloodstained stranger, then... That would mean that... Yuya and the doctor are hiding something. Oh. The library. I wonder if Nageki's at the gym yet. Nageki? Who? I met him in the library earlier. He stayed behind? An unusually dense individual, to be sure. The library is a little ways away from here. I spend some time jogging through the hallways. I'm back. Welcome back. back. Welcome back. I've been trying to ignore it, but the dim light makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting gonna... hung up over little things in a time like this is a sign of weak nerves. Really? Well then, where are the school documents? Hmm. Probably not where just anybody can look at them. They're probably somewhere in the back, then. How dull. Come, let us search. Right. Books, books, and none of them what we're looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty encyclo- Huh? That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume six is missing, huh? That's weird. Did somebody misfile them? Anyway, St. Pigeonation's history. It's not back here with the large volumes, so maybe it's a smaller book? It's not here. Oh. You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but... I told you earlier, there's an emergency going on. Hmm. Hmm? I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on, or just doesn't care. The records. Huh? Keep looking there and you'll never find them. So, you know where they are? Yep. 
Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he basically lives in here. So it's hardly surprising that he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where to find them? By request. R request? You don't know what that is? He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get them by request. They're not kept out here. Then, where are they kept? Behind the reception desk, in the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk. True. Thank you, Nagaki. Really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please, try to remain in charge of your faculties, Kawara. Oh, sorry. I, I was talking to him. Talking? To the bookshelves? Surely there are better uses of your energy. No, Nagaki was telling me where to find the... There's no one else here. Cease this bizarre monodrama. Uh, um... What is he talking about? Nageki is standing right next to me. It's not like he's behind a shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakuya... Let's find out. Can I ask you something, Nageki? Yes? Are you... a hallucination? <laughs> If I was, that would mean you're asking a hallucination whether or not he's a hallucination. Y yeah that's right. It does seem a little weird. Does it matter? Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything! This doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I will remember everything soon. Mm -hmm. What about you? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Uh, Nagiki, do you know something about that? Uh-huh. He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said, too. Why did Nagiki know about that? It wasn't just a coincidence, was it? Am I forgetting something important about all this? I don't think I can dismiss him as just a hallucination. Request only books. The shelf? Looks like it. I see a lot of the same books were in the headmaster's office. Chronology of Saint Pigeonations. This? Let's see. 2180, founding this of the school, same year, Ichijo Kitsugu inaugurated as headmaster. 2180, much more recent than I had thought. Only eight years. I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? Wait, Sakuya, look at this. 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Oh! <gasps> medical center? Does the school have something like that? I... I don't think so. There's no mention of it in the student guide. Didn't, didn't Hyoko and Ryota have a flashback to a fire with their parents? Uh, Maybe because it wasn't it wasn't it like a flashback to like their house was destroyed or something. Yeah, at the very start of the, the I don't purple know. route. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. Damage from the fire. Ah. The book presents us with a new mystery. 
as if to taunt our inability to hold all those we already have. A new sort of mystery. 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Freshman Fujishiro Nagiki died in the basement where the fire started. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same. But that's... Nagaki died five years ago? Then what is the Nagaki I keep meeting today? He didn't deny that he was a hallucination. Sakuya couldn't see him. Which means he's... a ghost. Don't say such dreadful things! It's unscientific! Too detail of de belle vins. We're betting our lives on this search, you know. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I won't have any occult rubbish brought into it. I don't know if he knows what it means either, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he knew something. If he's the same bird, then he could be the key to solving this mystery. So you intend to rely on some invisible ghost? There are limits, Kawara. Uh, 2D de Bellevern is your talking nonsense. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I spent some time looking for him in the library, but couldn't find him. He's always found me, rather than the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. Where do we... Hmm, the medical center seems like a good place to go now. Indeed. Where is it? That's the problem. I'd never heard of it before, either. It sounds rather large. I wouldn't expect it to be that hard to find. The rec- oh. The record book said the fire broke out in the basement. And if the building was burnt to the ground, it would have said so. It should still be here, then. Assuming it wasn't demolished. Are there any unused buildings on the campus? Unused buildings? Hmm. Oh yeah, that old hall. Old hall? That's what we call it. It's by the back gate and it's not used for... What's wrong? School hasn't even been around for ten years. What reason does it have for having an old hall? <laughs> Fair. <sighs> Now that you mention it, that is kind of strange. Ah, huh. guide me there. Okay, I'll take your- I'll hold your hand. Hold Jeez, my wing daintily. Me. This is it. Doesn't really look like a medical center. It's pretty much the same as the main building, yeah. Looks like the door's locked. Then we shall break it down. Starting to sound like a delinquent, Sakuya. What? What did I say? Don't worry about it. We'd probably be suspended for breaking in here, but this is an emergency. We don't have a choice. Oh. <clears throat> it's awfully <laughs> dusty in here. Just flying full speed wow. through the window. <laughs> Despite being left unused for five years, this old hall does look quite like the new hall. <laughs> Man, they re there's really only one hallway across these two buildings. <laughs> it appears they didn't leave much behind. Everything's empty. I wonder if they cleared everything out when they sealed the building? This hall looks pretty much the same as in the main building. Uncannily so. Do we come here for nothing? Let's look around a little more. Look, this door still has a sign on it. I guess it was the reference room. I do not relish the prospect of wandering about this mausoleum of schoolrooms, but very well. It's even dustier in here. Shelves are marked with dates. Perhaps they once held medical records. There's nothing left now, though. And... Operation Hatoful. Huh? Among the rows of dates, sure enough, there's a shelf labeled Operation Hatoful. 
empty as well. It would have been asking too much to hope to find anything anyway. Operation Hodgeful? I wonder what it is. Who knows? Something put in place along with the human representative business, so no doubt it was nothing good. Is Operation Hodgeful connected to this medical center? What if it's the source of the mystery we're tangled in now? My head hurts. The only things left are... <laughs> Archaic medical journals. Huh? It's the encyclopedia. An odd place to keep one. Wait, look at the volume numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. What? Does this unpleasant arrangement hold some meaning? I saw them like this in the library, too. A bunch of old encyclopedias. Yeah. Can I look at these for a bit? Do as you please. The ones in the library had the same binding. And in place of Volume 9, there's an extra copy of Volume 6. Look! This copy of Volume 6 has a library sticker on it. Perhaps it came from the library, then? Someone must have brought it here when the medical center was still open. They probably switched it with Volume 9. An unpleasant piece of mischief, to be sure. Yeah. The other volumes all seem as they should. There probably isn't anything in the extra copy of Volume 9, but maybe we should go see if it came from here. When we get back to the main building, let's go check the library. Provided it isn't a mere waste of time. I need fan art of Sakia as Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> I was thinking that too. It's That's who I'm ruffles. thinking of while I'm doing his voice. Yeah. Mm. We leave the reference room and continue our investigation of the medical center. It's funny you say that, because when I was briefly streaming Phoenix Wright, I was like, okay, I have to channel my Sakia voice for Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Ryota? You haven't received the updated autopsy report? <laughs> <laughs> he hits it with the back of his hand. Listen, we can't investigate this mystery. The skill samurai is on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've searched this entire first floor and have yet to find what we're after. The stairs into the basement? Apparently the fire that closed this building five years ago started in the basement. But we haven't found it yet. The elevator doesn't have a button for it either. How do we get in? Perhaps we can't anymore. Huh? Look at that wall. The wall? Looks like a normal concrete wall to me. Don't you see it? Stupid peasant. What about it? Think back to the building's exterior, and the second floor. There shouldn't be a wall here. It's small, but there's a space behind there. It must have been sealed off after the fire. Now that he mentions it, this wall is a slightly different color than the rest. Which would make sense if it had been put in later. So the stairs are beyond here? Seems likely. Isn't this a bit much for cleanup of some fire? We probably won't be able to break this down. If we can't get in there, I doubt we'll find anything more of use in here. At least we found that thing from the Headmaster's documents again. Yeah, let's head back. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Is it the scarecrow? scarecrow? Did you hear something? Yes. Someone else just broke in here. This could be bad. We're in a dead end with concrete all around. We need to get somewhere with a window, fast. Run. Yes. Tap, 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 tap. Stop. Stop. Ah, it's here. Wait, calm down, Kawara. It's small. 
I, I wonder if it's... On hell! On hell! Oh. On hell. Oh, it is. On Too small hell. to be the scare. There he is. The boy. Huh? Pardon me. Aren't you from 2-2? Two -two? I am the crimson... Oh my god, my voice cracked immediately! <laughs> <laughs> That's actually perfect for on hell! <laughs> I am the Crimson Fallen Angel on Hell. I knew it. The manga club boy from the class next door. <laughs> He's famous around the school for being a nutcase, but what is he doing in here? I think I'm going to have a headache. Textornis Melodia Funeris! Who? Me? Liberation. Good for you, Kawara. <laughs> he came all this way to give you a title. It's not good at all. Nothing but trouble will come of it. I don't know why you came here, Angel, but it's dangerous. We're supposed to be in the gym with everybody else, so come on, let's go back. I'm not allowed rest. Not until I've fulfilled my duty. In accordance to the, with the pact of old, I must seal you here and now, Textortus Melodia Funeris, Undertaker. Uh, Undertaker? That's it, then. Um, so the, the time has come at last. I will not be stopped <laughs> now, Crimson Angel of Judeca. Come! Oh, God. Oh. On hell. Crimson Fallen That's Angel. That's charisma. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, wait, I... do the stats actually matter? From, oh. from the first fight. I forgot that there was a fight. <gasps> we have to turn. <laughs> uh, Textorus well, we Melodia Funeris, for anyone who uh, is curious, means Weaver's Funeral Melody in Latin. Mm. That's pretty which, sick. Um, makes That's sense really for cool. an Undertaker. Wait, Weaver? Who's Weaver? The... Yeah, so I'm thinking like the like a shroud that you would put over a, a corpse, mm. a funeral shroud. Maybe Blue Moon Slash, because we're blue and our vitality is eight hundred and five. Although, if we are the Undertaker, Deathbringer could be, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, 78 is not bad. Damage. Ceaseless jack acting, you wretched imbeciles! Sakuya, attack! Oh, Sakuya's attacking us! Damage. <laughs> Ryota returns to his senses. Angel takes 295 damage. Angel is shaken. Uh, Sakuya oh, yeah, just ends back. it for us. Okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't remember it. <laughs> huh? I'm shocked, Kawara. To think you would even go along with that farce. <laughs> what? He disrupt disrupted my territory? I got carried away by Angel before I even noticed. Aww. Influencing the very reality of his surroundings is a frightful power indeed. You, Luzon! What did you come here to do? After what you just did, I think you may be our prime suspect. I came here to do w but one thing. I must follow the demon spores. Whole new variety of what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Perhaps you could explain in normal Japanese. Your dialect is somewhat opaque. I don't think it's just his dialect, Sakuya. The end is calling me. That is all. That is... That this is the cross I must bear. He stares off into space, <laughs> as if gazing at something far away. Maybe that basically means that he's a thrill seeker? So you are a moth allured by a candle's light, Luzon? No. I am stained in crimson, clad in night, unforgiven. My eternal blood seals, seal calls me to purgatory. Ah, more crazy talk. It's not exactly a blood seal. That blood stain chest is just the way Bleeding Hearts' plumage look. Oh. What is it, Kawara? Blood stained chest. Uh, wow. Sakuya, do you maybe think the blood stained stranger Sansa was. Oh. Yup. Yep. Mm -hmm. On hell. What were you yesterday after school? What were you doing? 
battling minor demons of all, and following the demon spores. Could you rephrase that? <clears throat> Rufa, the Tree of Blight, called out to me! He's asking you to say it using words we understand! Hollow Magician of Light, your anger now! It is the power of the demon spores! I think it's the power of you, Angel. Ah, I must compromise. I was in the place the ignorant many refer to as the infirm infirmary. I knew it. I think we need to talk to you. Come! And so he left the medical center, Sakia dragging Angel behind him. <laughs> I love that Angel, like, came into the scene by bursting through a window or some shit. That's yeah. what he does. Yeah, he, do, he just, like, crashes the through the ceiling tiles and... Every time he shows up, he crashes through a window. Oh, um... There was a line where Okosan said, "Yeah, uh, yeah." Okosan was like, "This is the bloodstained stranger I saw. I accidentally clicked through it." <clears throat> That's that then. We need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go into the infirmary? If I could, I would have. But only the chosen one can stop the demon spores. In other words, he didn't. Useless. The gate was sealed with the power of darkness. However, Ida Blau did venture within. <gasps> oh. Mm. Uh oh. Ida Blau? Who is that? Explain in terms known to <laughs> sane individuals, please. <laughs> the apostle of the blue sky, Ida Blau. She also goes by. Tosaka Hiyoko. Hiyoko went into... What? I was Okosan on screen for so long there. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Okosan is the <laughs> focus of attention <laughs> at all times. It's like, hey, look at my bird. In the infirmary yesterday, after school. But the doctor and Yuya said no one came, and nothing happened. They're lying. Ooh. 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 Shu and Yuya are in trouble. Wow. I can't help but wonder how many chapters there are. I forget. Um, do you want to just get through this flashback and then we'll call it for today? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd be done with that. It'd be good just to make sure we have enough content for next time. Yeah. yeah. You're different from those peasants, Sakuya. You were chosen from the day you were- Wait, I think this is just Saki's monologue. Okay. Not oh. someone talking to him. <laughs> oh, should I read these then? If you want to, I can. Okay, I'll read. You are different from those peasants, Sakia. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them, crawling in the mud. <laughs> there is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? The world is yes, mine? Father. <clears throat> Say <God. laughs> That was not the note. That cut off. Oh, that was good. <laughs> to Japan? Yes. You'll be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring honor to our family, Sakia. Yes, father. 
Also, Dr. Iwamine is in re residence at the institution you'll be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks in part to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. Alright. Let me do a good old save. Let me do a oh, couple of man. good measure. What a cliffhanger. Oh, it's getting juicy. Oh, this is so good. Oh, Alright. <clears throat> Thank you all for, uh, for joining me again today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. us. Thank you very much us. to our, our wonderful host and guide, Baz, for sharing yeah. this excellent game with us. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know it went this deep. Yes. Thank I you wasn't for joining me. I wasn't expecting the zero escape. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. All right. Um. Mm. Oh, this has been fantastic. It's been I'm real. So yeah, stoked for raid. next time. Uh, let's just raid Andu. He's streaming. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Um, we will let you know when the next session is, uh, either next week or the week after. Um, but yeah. So, um, see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.